हेलो गाइस एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कॉल्ड एज द फ्रंट एंड गॉड सो ड्यू टू सम कॉपीराइट इश्यूज द नेम ऑफ द चैनल हैज चेंज सो द न्यू नेम इज द फ्रंट एंड गॉड सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड हेल्प मी टू गेन वन के सब्सक्राइबर ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू make cards for your website by using html and css okay so without any further ado we will start the video so first of all i am using a image called as boy.jpg and we are going to create a file called as index.html and for style sheet we are going to create another file called as style dot css okay simple so we are using the html broiler plate so the title i will change the title called as three cards okay so we are going to link this uh, css file so link rel style sheet and the file name that is style.css so first of all we are going to make a container to store our row columns and our card information so view class container and we have to create one row so view class row and we have to create columns class equals columns so i will paste it two more times okay so now inside this column we are going to create our cards so i will name it as card okay so we are going to give a title and some paragraphs okay so i will make it visible okay so we will copy the card two more times okay so i will open this with the live website so you can see the title as well as the paragraphs okay so now we will use css to style so the margin will be zero and padding will be zero okay so this is the default margin and padding so we will style the container first of all so dot container margin top we will give margin top of 100 pixel and we will use text align center okay text align center okay so now we will see the text okay so now we will use the row class so so i will paste it here dot row so we are using flex box so flex sorry display flex and the flex direction will be row for large screen devices like laptops and monitors so flex direction will be row so i will copy the column class so dot column flex 33.33% 33 
and the margin will be 20 pixel so we are giving margin to the column because we have to separate the cards from each other so margin will be 20 pixel from all the sides okay so now we will look okay so the cards are separated from each other so i will copy the card class dot card so now we will give border so border will be 2 pixel solid black so hash 0 0 0 border radius will be 5 pixel sorry border radius will be 5 pixel so it will make the make it smooth from all the side okay so i will give padding from inside of the card since it is you know very near from the boundaries so padding will be 10 pixel from all the side from inside okay so see the margin is from outside okay so this is margin from outside and padding is always from inside the cards so i will use a margin left auto margin right auto and i will use display block okay and i will give some background color for the cards so i will give light gray so background color hash ef 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 okay so it will give some light gray color So now we are using image that is our void.jpg image for our cards. So I will use img tag. So the name of the image is void.jpg or it will be image for example. okay so this is the image so we have to size it so i will copy two more times and i will paste it above the title here okay so now we will style the image so card img so since the image is located inside the card class okay so we are going to use card and the image tag so height will be 300 pixel and width will be 100 percent okay so see it is perfectly aligned and now we and now I will give some padding for the title and paragraph as well. Okay. So for the title, we will use dot card. H3. So padding will be 10 pixel. And for the similarly for the paragraph dot card P padding will be 10 pixel as well okay so see it is looking good now i will also uh, use a button for our card so button 
and I will uh, type read more for example I will copy it two more times in our card container so this has a button so I will change the size and text color so dot card button so I will give some margin will be 10 pixel background color I will give blue color so it is dark blue I will give some light blue shade like this and I will give color which is uh, white and I will give some padding 10 pixel and 15 pixel and border radius will be 5 pixel so now it is looking good okay so these are our buttons and I will uh, give cursor pointer cursor will be pointer okay so now it will point the button okay so it is looking good for large screen devices such as laptop and uh, monitors but for small screen like tablets and mobiles it is not looking good okay it is looking very smaller so we have to use media for small screen devices so at the rate media screen and max width which is 780 pixel 780 pixel which will make it responsive for small screen devices like tablets and mobile phones so I will copy the class row from above I will paste it here and we have to use flex direction columns for the small screen devices okay so the this code is specially for the small screen devices okay so now I will copy the class column so now we have to give width which is 100% so width is 100% and now I will copy the card dot card sorry dot dot card and I will give width 80% okay so the width of the card should be less than the width of the column okay so now I will open so see it is stacked one below the another okay so this is for small screen devices for tablets and mobiles and when it, and whenever the size is more than 780 pixel so now it is more than 780 pixel it will show like this and for less than 780 pixel it will stack one below the another okay like this okay so these cards are very good to see and we can also add some border radius for the image so for, for the image I will add some border radius that is 5 pixel so it will make the image look better okay so thank you for watching and please like the video and share the video and please subscribe my youtube channel if you like my content so see you again take care